morning good afternoon good evening guys it's kevin with the knife doctor and today we have a case double x 1965 to 1970 notice there's no dots underneath the usa that means that stamp was used between 1965 up to 1970 and uh but what we're going to attempt to do today is put new handles on this thing and um with this g10 stock I bought from uh, the Amazon and take this shield off this knife here it's a red bone but it looks like it'll fit I'm gonna attempt to take that shield off and put it on here now this is a 3318 HE the first three stands for the handle material that's yellow composition it was the next three is how many blades it, it is in the knife. And the 18 is the factory pattern of the type of knife. The HE means that it's got a sheep foot blade and a pin blade. Some of them have a punch also. Here's my book showing it. See that showing it's a, uh, that, that particular one, it has a punch blade. But there's the the one that we have here is that one 3318 1965 to 1970 and that knife new or in in mint condition back in 2000 was 60 bucks so um again guys if y'all don't have a book like this this is an awesome awesome book awesome book and you can get it on uh, the amazon it was new it was 17 bucks in year 2000 or 18 bucks and i paid a few bucks for it at a um a thrift store but great book to have anyway we're gonna get on this knife here all right, the first thing we're gonna to try to do is get this shield off. That'll tell me a lot on what I can and can't do with that other knife. great news so now we have to cut this down to make it fit here and what's going to be hard is lining these pins up it's pretty easy with bone and wood because you can press it down and make indentions on the back and you know exactly where to drill but i've never worked with this so it's going to be a uh, new experience. Okay, the first thing we got to do is clean it up. So we got the shield. So now, the next step is to measure out some pieces and try to get them onto there. Two and seven sixteenths. masking tape on the back and what I'm going to do is line this up oh where it needs to go on the ends mash try to get all the pins marked on that tape 
All right, I got a mark. I don't know if you can see them, but they look like they're marked pretty good. So now I'm gonna use my drill press to drill those out. Okay, I got the sides on there. Just gotta sand it down now. I got the shield traced out right there. Turned out pretty good. I'm very pleased. I'm gonna take these handles back off and clean all the dust off and uh, glue them. Then once the handles are dry, I'm gonna get my Dremel and go down a little bit where the shield will be sitting on the pins. As you can tell, the pins are not all the way up. Using hand sanitizer to clean the clean the knife up. All right, I got the handles glued on. Once they dry, I'm gonna get 400 grit sandpaper and sand everything smooth. And um, once that's done, I might have to uh, cut out that place where I trace for the shield. There's a shield right there. And uh, I'll put that on. And we'll be done with the knife. I think that'll keep it in place until it dries. We'll check on it in the morning. All right, it's the next morning. Today is Saturday, 
October, yeah, I forget what day it is. Anyway, it's the 21st, that's right, October 21st. I worked on this one yesterday. Had to put this rubber band on there to hold the shield from where I glued it. It looks pretty good. I might have clean up that glue around it, but it's on there. That looks good. Nothing too aggressive. Just trying to clean up that excess glue. All right, here she is. Looks good. Man, it looks good. See if the blades have any snap. See how clean it is on the inside too. That cleaned up very good. There's one blade, it's got a snap. That blade has no snap. Let's see. Oh, it's got a little bit of snap. There's a bunch of rust on the springs. In between the springs. Like when you open it up, there was, I had to clean a bunch of that up. So that I, know, I know that helped. Good looking knife. I love case knives. This one's sharpened up good. I'm going to hit it with the sharpener again before I put it up. But good looking knife now. Sure is a lot better shape than when I found her. And it's remade in the USA.